is going to have to try out some of this uh, bottom fishing a bit more here. I think I've explored most, well not most, but enough of uh, Spain now. All these fast travel points and little markers all over the place. Uh, that I should probably try and tackle with some of these gear challenges. I'm kind of interested in it. I think the Tench one is probably a good one to start. Uh, Crucian Cart is probably way too kind of easy as well. I, I think I'd like these three because Challenge 2 is probably not too bad. I think Is it Challenge 1 that's the most difficult? Probably. Eh? Uh, so I will grab a few actually. So let's grab this one. Catch a gold. Oh, gold. Right, Crucian Carp with a line strength. Oh. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that's fine, I think. Let's just grab a few of them, though. I will grab a few this time. Uh, what's the Tench one? So this is all gold stuff. Interesting. What do you, uh, what do you get from these? Two and a half kilograms. Well, that's fine. And then let's grab a Mirror Carp, too. 10 kg. Okay, that's okay because uh, my max right now is 10 kilograms. Alright, uh, so let's try and do some of these now. Does it give you uh, the location of where to do this or you just have to know where they are? Uh, journal. So, Crucian Carbs, easiest, right? So, let's track the mission. And does it, does it indicate where to go or do I just need to know? Uh, because I know where some Crucian Carp is. The issue with Crucian Carp is other carp seem to bite on the hook too. But I'll have to figure it out. I think it's up here, isn't it? No, Mirror Carp here? Yeah. Okay. I think you can fast travel here, can't you? No. Fast travel here, go down. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and there was a little lake. I didn't mark it though. Because I didn't get any golds. Let's try here though. And I think maybe if I mess around with hooks enough. That I should be able to filter out. Like the common carp that are in the area. Okay I'm going to go uh, figure out the gear. Because it's the super light. Right? Half kilogram line. Alright one second. Okay I've definitely been here before. The Crucian Carp uh, Gold Challenge was here. Alright, so I set up uh, two setups here. We got the feeder one. And it, they can take up to 10 kilogram setup. And so not super heavy, but that's about as far up as I've gotten. And then, but each one of course has half kilogram line on it. So this is basically the monofilament that uh, you start the game with. And then the I got the float set up with uh, Lucia here. It's got the fluorocarbon half. Kilogram. So I think that's fine, right? It just has to be a strength. Yeah. And then uh, I need to set up... Um, i got to look up the hooks and everything for this. Okay, I think I am uh, set up here. And i got a buddy here, Howie Blue. I think... This is SOC from the live stream before, right? <laughs> I, everybody's got different names sometimes. Pretty sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Howie's found me here. Uh, so we'll see what he catches to if he's fishing. Uh, now I only have, well, my target was going to be a number 9 hook, because it's, uh, for the bronze level Crucian Carp, and it should be small enough that common carp uh, do not bite. Uh, so the plan is to have the float ready in the feeder setup ready. We might try the feeder setup first, just because it's new. If we don't really catch anything, we'll switch to float. I don't really see anything in the water, though. So I guess... We'll just toss it out and see what happens. Yeah, normally you can see fish swimming here, but again, uh, last time I was here I had the challenge active, right? So the theory is that makes the spawns happen. Uh, but let's just toss... let's just toss this out. And then, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, we got a nibble here going. Let's see, let's see what's here. So we gotta get a gold one, eh? So this is gonna take a lot of Crucian Carp. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, stop reeling. 
<laughs> okay, so... How... What did I grab on there, then? And then how do you do this <laughs> with half a kilogram line? Hmm... I, uh, I bet you I gotta switch the reel, too, right? Because the reel I have on here is gonna be way too overpowered. I gotta think about this. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll try one more time. But I think it's... Because the, the reel's so overpowered. I didn't I didn't match the reel with the line. Uh yeah, okay, so this is um interesting. I'm gonna have to go back and, and put a little reel on them. I wanted to run the two rods at once, but it looks like I have to just bring the one set of equipment and just swap swap everything back and forth, I guess. Okay, let's see what happens this time. Because five percent drag's probably way over the line, right? Even at five percent. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe it'll work at five percent. Yeah, so this is just the bronze, though. So what happens? Like, was that a gold before? Now, if my theory is correct, nothing really big should bite on this hook that's in this lake here. Okay, so there's nothing there. Uh, so let's retrieve that. Now this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to just switch over to Lucia here and then try basically the same setup but with the float instead and kind of switch back and forth. That's my theory anyways. Um, yeah, because there's a fish already like same spot but I'm getting a fish this time. They're pretty near the same spot. Unless, the, unless it was tracking in. But yeah, I don't know if I need to switch back. Switch the reels up, though. And then how many Crucian Carp am I going to have to catch? <laughs> Before I get a gold one. Oh, it's not... Oh, great. So I'm going to get Pumpkin Seed as well? Oh, right. And then they switched with the traits, right? Um... Because only, so Crucian Carps, where is it, right here? Yeah, it's the bottom feeding one, right? So this one probably won't bite on the float, right? Because they changed it so that this actually matters now. Uh, I'll try anyways. We'll see what happens. So, wait, do Crucian Carp jump out of the water? Um... Wait, where am I going here? I don't think they're, they're like a jumper, right? No, okay. Um, Alright, let's just uh, throw it out here again. Because the pumpkin seeds, they jump out of the water. Alright, let's see. Okay, there's one this time. But I thought it said that Crucian Carps are supposed to strike immediately. Maybe I misinterpreted it. Yeah, look. I wonder what I'm catching here. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to increase the line just to find out what this setup is catching. Okay, I switched to uh, the 10 kilogram setup. Just just to find out what on earth this is pulling in. Because it, it shouldn't be anything big on... I guess it's an 8 hook. There shouldn't be anything really big grabbing it. Okay, so we got a nibble. So what in the world are we catching here? Let's see. Okay, so it's a silver Crucian carp. Okay, that's working. That's what, that's what we want to get. 
Now, I know it's not going to count if I get a gold here, but I need to see if anything else is biting here. Like, what's breaking that line? Because how do you get... A, if it's a gold Crucian carp that's biting, how in the world do you fight it in? But I'm, I'm thinking... I need to bring the reel down so I can... finesse the uh, drag setting better. Alright, give this a minute. Okay, we got another nibble. So that's basically a Crucian carp too. Okay, no, this is the way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back and switch. So I've got a number eight hook on. So here's the setup right here. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to bring the reel down, right? Uh like the reel's gonna have to be that that starting one really. Um yeah, this is what I got on here. Okay. I'm gonna have to jump back and fast travel here. Alright, just heading back here to where we were. Whoop. Yeah, you just drive through the jeeps. There's Howie's jeep there. Not sure if you noticed I left or not. Alright, I just gotta do the setup here. I just grab the prologue reel. Uh, here. It will, it will stay with the feeder. That's how they have it set up now. So, prologue's one kilogram. That's the lowest one you can have. And then, man, a half kilogram line we gotta use. So the weight, number eight's fine, and then they eat these. All right, just run here and try this again. See what happens. Yeah, there's a pumpkin seed right there. He's floating right at the top. Poke, poke. I sort of want to catch the pumpkin seed now. Uh, yeah, because I could just switch to Lucia and then catch pumpkin seeds while I'm waiting for more Crucian carp, I suppose. But uh, there should be plenty here. Okay, there's one on. I kind of missed the strike there, but uh, I got it. But, uh, it was an instant strike. Well, the, the Crucian carp were kind of toying with it before. So, did a pumpkin seed come down here and grab it? Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so so much for filtering those guys out, but I guess they will still swim down. Alright. Kind of got me by surprise there. I wasn't expecting a pumpkin seed to grab it. Here, I'll try again here. Okay, I got a Crucian carp here now. Should be. He's just playing around with it. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this could be a gold. Drag down to 10%. Because this is what I couldn't do before, right? Well, this is an interesting challenge. Having <laughs> to try to do this on half kilogram line. I mean, we should actually be able to do it. I do enjoy a good fish fight. And, uh, I actually... I, I heard people uh, were complaining about these challenges, uh, but I think they're neat because it uh, it basically forces you to go into like a good fish fight, like it's got the levels all sorted out. So that's kind of cool. So the only way to get a a, a good fish fight with Crucian carp is to be on a half kilogram line. <laughs> oh well. So yeah, hang on to this uh, prologue reel. You sort of need it to be able to reduce the drag down low enough. Because I'm at 10% on this one kilogram uh, reel here. Which yeah, if you add the the drag and the strength together, it's two kilograms. Right, and then 10% of that, so we're, <laughs> we're at uh, 0.2 kilograms. Of drag. 
Uh, yeah. Because if I go to 20%, that should be almost the full drag. It should be it should be uh, 0.4 kilograms. Yep. Yep, there it is. 0.4 kilograms. <laughs> if I win one more, macro blind. Okay. Wait, that's a <laughs> really? That was a bronze. Well, how do you how do you catch gold on here then? <laughs> okay. Uh, so back down to ten percent. Man, this this uh, actually um, makes you think a little bit here. Uh, what's how we doing with the float dangling here? Oh, I think he's thinking about casting or something. Um, is trying to do the math, right? Uh, so two ki so it's a kilogram each strength and drag. So the circle should be a two kilogram thing. Um, oh wait, but the circle is the line. <laughs> Man, I hate math. <laughs> okay, we got another bite. We'll just try and figure this out here. Okay, so he's running with it. And he's just going to keep running. So let's go to 15%. Maybe go right to 20. Yeah, see, 20... is a bit too much. We'll go to 15. So yeah, I think I was doing the math right before. Because if I go to 20%, that should be four, uh, 0.4 kilograms on the line that I can max out yet, right there. Okay, so that's right. So if it's under 0.4 kilograms, this should work. Is it just another bronze again? And then I can't go any higher because then I go over the line, which is 0.5 kilograms. Okay, so that's a silver. Okay, so a gold is definitely possible. Um, yeah, this is an interesting challenge. It's making me, it's making me think <laughs> about uh, um, the line stuff. All right, so I'm going to keep it at 15% drag, which would be 0.3 kilograms. Which should be enough to, to pull in bronze, crucian, carp, no problem. And, uh, yeah, I just don't know what to do when we get a gold, because I'm only going to have that 20% to play with. Yeah, 25% will put me right at the max of the line. So not a whole lot of drag to play with when you have this half kilogram line on here. Okay, yeah, another quick uh, bite that I... I missed for the recording there, but no problem. It's just going to be pumpkin seed. Don't really need to record catching a pumpkin seed unless it's uh, an amazing one. Yeah, just silver. Get out of here, pumpkin seed. I'm going to keep going for these crucian carp out here. Alright, here we go again. Who do we got today? Uh, so maybe finally we got the gold. Cause he's really, really pulling it there. He's acting really funny on the line. See, all jerking around. The other one, the other ones are not doing that. All right, let's go to twenty percent because we're gonna have to slow this guy down. I don't know how much line I have on here, but I think it's eighty meters or so. If he spools us, how in the world do you catch a Carusian carp on this thing? Can I go to 25%? Look at that, a real bean all. 
Yeah, we might have to start doing some fancy line work here, because he's going to have to tie her out real fast or we're in trouble here. Yeah, see, I can't. I'm not going to be able to pull back on the line here. Uh-oh. Yeah, this has got to be the gold. So how... No, oh, there, I, there, I'm at the... Yeah. Darn, okay. So how do you... How do you catch a gold crucian carp on a half kilogram line? Okay, so I'm going to have to start it really close, right? So we'll just flop it out here. Not very far at all. Um... Because we're going to have to tire it out, or we're going to have to find a place where it can't run, where it gets kind of stuck. It's a little tricky here. Okay, here we go again. I don't know if he would have came back or not. We're about to find out anyways. I don't think so. I think this is going to be silver. Yeah, it's going to be a silver. Well, we found out how to target them anyways. I just took going to have to figure out how to get another gold one on. I mean, I could put the hook size on so I only catch a gold one, but you could be sitting here a long time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I only 20% drag. So this is the part where I get a little confused with how the little line works there. Because um, I should only be putting 40 kilograms on, but I think when you have the line up, the rod, let's test that out. Can I max it out without holding the rod up? Because I think if you're holding the rod up, it's adding strength from the rod on the line, or tension on the line. I think so. That's my guess anyways. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm not too sure where the math's going on that one. I don't know why it's maxing out. 20%, but maybe the math isn't exact. Okay. Silver. Darn. I thought for a second that was a gold. Yeah, see, 0. 0.65 kilograms. Okay, we need a we need a lightweight gold. This is a tricky little mission. Hey, okay, here we go for another attempt. Okay, let's see. I might have to move the. I um, don't oh know. Is this a gold? Doing that funny thing? Yeah, I think it's a gold. Okay. So here we go again. I don't actually know what to do here. Like to try and keep them in here? Okay, I'm just gonna keep reeling. I let them just run, because I... Can I do anything? Besides reel? <laughs> <laughs> I know, like he's just going again. So I'm not reeling now, I'm just trying to... I kind of want to keep reeling so I can get any kind of pinch I can get. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know how to do this mission. Come on, we got a... 25%? Because I'm going to run out of line again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Come on, tire fishy. Tire fishy. Tire out. Come on. Gain some. No, no, no don't run. Don't run. Come on. Okay, there's nothing I can do. I, at least I don't think I can do anything. If I pull the line back, I risk breaking it like that. So all I can do is just reel and hope the drag setting will do it. I can't go to 30%. No, no, he's winning again. Come on, come on, come on. He's right at the end of the line. 
Somehow we got to pull enough. Come on, come on, don't be tied. There, uh, there, got some. <laughs> it's basically every single bit of meter I can get here. Cause I think it's 68 meters it broke last time, was it? I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to move the rod. It's got to tire out soon. I really, all I can do is reel, I think. No. Come on. Gain some, gain some line back. Just a little bit of line. I don't even know if I want to move it over to the side. I like to try and pull them a little bit. No, see? Pulling E. Like I can, I can add a bit on. Oh, he's hit 68 there, so I'm not winning. No, 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 no. Come on. I don't know if this is helping. Okay, there. Oh, we gained gained a meter. Gained a meter. Nope. We lost it. Okay, how... How much energy do you have, fish? No! No, 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 look at the run! No! Uh, so that's the gold Crucian carp on half kilogram line. What what strategy am I missing here? I'm gonna have to cheese this or something. Is it is it cheese if uh like I try to get him stuck on this rock <laughs> where he can't run? Okay, short cast. And then I'm hoping you just go straight out and get stuck on that rock. If I happen to get a gold one again. Alright, let's see what happens this time. What do we have? We have a silver. Or, or a bronze. Who knows, but it's not a gold. Alright, this is real in because he can't beat the line here. Must be a bronze. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, little tiny cast. We'll do a few more. That uh, kind of sucks that I won't be able to complete the mission in the video. <laughs> it took, took long enough to sort of figure it out and then get a couple gold attempts. Uh... This is my only idea, is to hopefully get a gold over here and then have him run into that rock. Alright, here we go again. <clears throat> and who do we got this time? Yeah, no, it's going to be the same thing. You can tell when the gold's on because it gets all shaky and stuff. Oh, it's just bronze or whatever. Keep trying. Okay. Who do we got this time? Just bronze again. It's like all we're gonna get now is bronze. Alright. Deja vu. Okay. Who else do we got? Okay, so that's a different nibble. Uh, so silver this time, maybe? Well, definitely not a gold. Oh, there's another bronze over and over again. All right, maybe one more try. Let's see. Oh. No, oh, it's acting like a gold. It's doing that little uh, bouncy, bouncy thing around here. But it's not pulling super hard, though. So it must be silver. Let's go drag 25. Yeah, it's not acting like that other gold. 30%? That must be a silver. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Alright, well maybe it's stuck on the rock now? No, it must be a silver, right? Yeah. Unless, like, the other one was a big gold and this is a little gold? Uh, I'm gonna give it a moment here, because I'm not gonna really mess around with this one too much. I'm gonna assume my rock strategy is working. And, uh, see if we can get him in here. So he came in a good almost 10 meters there. There's gotta be a silver. Can't be a gold. Right? On after that other one. But yeah, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just... I'm just letting the reel do all the work here. Oh, yeah, he's going back out again. And now back in. What a funny fish. Yeah, I have no idea. Alright, hopefully it's a gold one. I'm hoping the difference is that this is on the small side of the gold ones. And the other one we had before was a large gold one, so... You know, as long as the gold, small gold, fine. Yeah, he's right back again. That was the 20 meters. So I think he swims to that rock. No, don't break, man. It shouldn't be able to break at 20%. Hey! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! How's that breaking? I don't understand. I don't quite get it, but oh well. I never really used this super light line, right? I think he's tired anyways. Oh no, there he goes. I mean, I really don't want the line to break, and he seems to be stuck. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, we're gonna run again. There, we're tied. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What an interesting fish. I'm really hoping it's a small gold. You almost got him in there. He just kind of holds right there. And... There. Nope, then he's gonna run back out again. Yeah, he gets to like five meters and that's it. Oh! Nope, he was right there. I think I can see him. I don't know, maybe that's something else in the water. If this is a silver, that be a pain in the butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, a large silver. Man, oh man. How in the world do you get a gold? If that was a silver. I mean, that was a very cautious fish fight for me. I wasn't doing anything to jeopardize it. Man, oh man. Okay, who's next? What do we have this time? Definitely a strong fish. And he hits the rock. Well, I'm hoping that's the distance of the rock. Oh no, he's still going. Did he swim by the rock? I wonder how far the rock is away. Uh oh. If my rock strategy doesn't work, then I have no idea. Okay, well, it's just going to be the same as before. I'm not going to muck around too much with a drag or anything. I mean, I can go 25% and just be ready to back off on the drag. 
Yeah, see. I don't I really don't want to break it on that. Hmm, like this is probably just a big silver again or something. I'm not even sure they are getting to the rock, which is maybe as far as the silver runs. I think it's just a silver again. Alright, well it's just the same fight as before. I'm not I'm being super cautious with it, so I'm not really, you know, trying to move him. I want to keep him straight ahead. So that rock is used as a wall. Yeah, it's going to be a silver again, I think. Well, I have to keep switching between 15% and 20% drag. Because, I don't know, as he gets closer, I guess more tension goes on the line because of the rod or something. Yeah, just a silver. Man. Brutal. I'm going to have to give up here soon, though. It uh, takes a while to get them in. Alright, here's another one. Here we go. Oh, goodness. This might be the last one. This might be all I got in me. <laughs> I'm going to keep 15% drag per minute. It's running kind of like the other ones. Looks like it's probably a silver. Well, several silvers never went out to... 30 meters, but I also started at 20% drag, not 15, so no idea, but yeah, whatever this one is, yeah, see, it wants to, I don't know what that is, 20% drag, it shouldn't break the line, but I think it's the, uh, the rod itself adds tension at a certain point. Which would play into some of the stats. Yeah, this isn't a gold. It's going to be silver again. Okay, he's right at the end here. But yeah, it's going to be another silver. I think we're going to have to call it after this one. Yeah, a little tiny silver too. Oh well, someday I'll have to return to this mission. But it won't be too soon anyways. Alright, well... Uh, I don't mind these missions. That one's a little... That one's a little bit. I mean, it probably should be a one kilogram line. I don't I don't know about the balancing on that one. Unless I'm missing something, uh, you can certainly let me know. I don't really know what else to do there. Because uh, you can't keep the drag too high and it'll break it. And it just runs too fast, even on the high... I maxed uh, like 25% drag. I can't really go any higher. So I guess you can really uh, manually run the drag if you're really quick, maybe. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I'll probably try this again sometime using the rock strategy because I think it'll work. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. But, anyways, uh, yeah, hope everybody's enjoying the new uh, bottom fishing. Uh, a lot of new uh, tactics and strategies that we can. We can have. That's I mean. I think mine is going to be bringing a a bottom a fishing rod and then a float, and then kind of alternate between the two. Uh, but yep, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care, everybody. See you next time.